Hey guys, it's Craig. Uh, this is my maglev bike and kind of the process I went through to make it. Let's check it out. So this first slide here is uh, basically just a series of sketches and some concept uh, rough renders that I put out after I finished modeling everything so that I could start thinking about color um, and kind of how I want to have certain things be accented more than others. Um, just kind of thinking a little more before I get back into Maya or Substance Painter to start laying out exactly where these colors are gonna go. I also chose to put the swords on the bike at this point and uh, I thought it was a really cool, cool idea. Um, if I could go back, I'd probably make them a little more traditional uh, just so that the silhouettes read better. But uh, here's one of the first renders that I put out uh, in Substance Painter. And all the textures here uh, were made by me in Substance, basically from scratch, just using techniques that I learned from YouTube and also kind of going back over the things that Mike has talked about uh, since we first learned Substance Painter. Um, I'm really happy with the way things turned out and the way everything kind of flows together. Um, I. Uh, wanted to kind of show showcase that I guess in this project is my ability to make textures and do different things in substance painter this time around so this is my uh, final render and uh, basically just showcasing it in a portfolio scenario um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out I rendered this in substance painters iray um, and I, I really like how uh, the eye ray makes everything look. You can really see all the details. Uh, this is one of the final renders that I submitted for uh, the midterm project. Uh, I was having a rough time that day. Uh, it took me like literally eight hours just to get this one and I had to go back and crank a bunch of settings down um, in order to get this. And then after some uh, feedback from Mike, I decided I should just go back in and uh, get rid of the background and stuff. And so I went back in and relit the scene and I really liked the way this one turned out. It, it showcases the bike a lot more. And then uh, let's go ahead and I'll take you into Substance Painter so we can see what I've got in there. Okay, so here is my uh, Substance Painter file with the uh, final textures applied and everything. And uh, I really like how I was able to get this etched look. Um, basically the way I did that was I just created a bunch of different alphas and they kind of put them all around the bike in different spots. Um, created the alphas from patterns uh, taken from like Japanese accents and things like that. And then went to Photoshop and uh, just made some white and black alphas, pretty simple. And then used the stencil tool to go through and uh, make sure I got them to cover the whole piece the way I wanted. Uh, the same way with the dragon, the uh, the kind of inlaid gold, or I guess it wouldn't be inlaid in this case, but uh, same kind of thing, just stamped it, uh, added some height to it, and then uh, used it like a mask basically over top of the black mat. And then I went through and hand painted a bunch of little details uh, like heat marks on the exhaust uh, for the air intake as well as the uh, exhaust coming out of the uh, motorhead there. Um, overall, I'm really happy how this came out, especially this uh, the seat. I really like the seat. Um, I basically did the same exact thing. I uh, took an alpha of a koi fish and inlaid it with gold and then took a stencil brush and did the patterns for the stitching to kind of show some indentations there. I'm also really happy with the way the uh, the wheels turned out. I used um, the same basic method, just the stem stencil and stamping to create that kind of divoted look for like a futuristic tire tread. Not really sure what they would look like. <laughs> but, um, and then I did the same thing, uh, made the wood textures and made the leather textures for the swords and then stamped on some little accent pieces. Like I said, going forward, if I was to do any more work on this, which I might, um, I would just remodel the swords to look more traditional. Um, and then this bike was modeled after a BMW uh, type engine. So it has a drivetrain associated with that motor and the exact same uh, style pretty much. And yeah, that's my uh, project, guys. Thank you so much.